Hello and welcome to today's Wednesday in the Word. Uh, through this Christmas Advent season, we're looking specifically at words which are spoken and indeed have been turned into songs about who Jesus is. And today we're considering words that the prophet Simeon says of Jesus in Luke chapter 2. We're also going to hear uh, from a lady called Anna. Here is what happens. Mary and Joseph are in the temple. They've brought the baby Jesus to be dedicated. And at that very moment, Simeon comes before Mary and Joseph, takes Jesus in his arms and says these words. Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation that you have prepared in the presence of all peoples a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. His father and his mother marvelled at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is appointed for the fall and rising of many in Israel and for a sign that is opposed and a sword will pierce through your own soul also so that thoughts from many hearts may be revealed. And there was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived with her husband seven years from when she was a virgin, and then as a widow until she was 84. She did not depart from the temple, worshipping with fasting and prayer night and day. And coming up at that very hour, she began to give thanks to God and to speak of him to all who were waiting for the redemption of Jerusalem. Many, many things that we could say about these words which are spoken of in relation to the arrival of this child, Jesus. Uh, let me just highlight two or three, and I want us to think about these things, especially over this next week. First of all, we see again that Jesus is the one who brings God's rescue, God's salvation. The words that Simeon says here, my eyes have seen your salvation. And a little bit later on, we hear of Anna talking about the redemption of Jerusalem. Those words, salvation, redemption, they're not new ideas in the Bible. They're talking about God's rescue, God taking people out of a place of slavery and bringing them into a place of freedom. And of course, we recognise that Jesus Christ is the only one who can deal with the reality of our sin, our rebellion against a holy, just and good God. We are locked into a, a mindset which says, I want to be in charge. And yet we know that that leads to our destruction. The Lord in his kindness has given us his son. And Simeon, holding this child in his arms, recognises that this baby will be the salvation that you and I need. Uh, the second thing to recognise is that this child will also be a revelation. We see that in verse 32. Simeon talks of this child being a light for revelation to the Gentiles, that's to the non-Jews, and for glory to your people Israel. Jesus is the one who shows the truth of what's really going on in people's hearts. He shows us the truth, obviously, about who God is. If we want to know what God is like, we look at Jesus. And as we look at this Jesus, we're also seen in those moments for what we are truly like. And our response to Jesus is highlighted here. Simeon talks about how this child will be the one who brings both salvation, revelation, and rejection. There will be those who will not want anything to do with Jesus. And as a result of that, Mary's heart will be pierced. Why? Because one day, this child who's being held in Simeon's arms will be beheld by Mary, hanging on a cross, dying for your sin and mine. That moment of redemption, that moment of rescue, is also a moment of deep revelation. And indeed, we see further on still that the hearts of many will be revealed by 
this light. Many will reject, many will believe. Can I encourage you today to put your trust afresh in this Jesus, the one who both rescues, redeems and reveals. As God shines his light into your heart today, and as we look at lots of Christmas lights around us, and we see all of the festivities and all the good things about this time of year, where's your heart? God knows exactly what it is you are going through, and he loves us so much that he sent his son into this world. Can I encourage you today, as I encourage myself, to put your trust afresh in this Jesus, who not only redeems, rescues, but reveals the truth about who God is and also the truth about who we are and the need of a saviour. I'm going to pray for us and then we're going to hear another Christmas carol from friends from St Helens in London. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Jesus Christ. Thank you that he is the one who we need Thank you that you see the truth of our hearts. You reveal yourself to us. Help us to walk in your light afresh today, we pray. It's in Jesus' strong and good name we ask these things. Amen. Take care. God bless you.